Here are America's most popular cars in the 1990s. During the 1990s, the automobile industry drastically changed, pushing sedans out of fashion and replacing them with sports cars, SUVs, and pickups. The 1990s was a time of change. The millennium was approaching its end, and the war between baby boomers and millennials was beginning. The automotive industry was also undergoing a revolution. Sedans, especially those made in the U.S., were losing popularity. Everyone wanted to celebrate the end of the year in style, or at least with a bang after hearing rumors of Y2K happening one second after midnight in the year 2000. How gullible were we? While Jennifer Lopez sang Waiting for Tonight to Perfection on Billboard, decades later, the hits of the 90s were these remarkable automobiles that followed the same path or dared to be different. The sedans were out, the trucks were in, and so were the SUVs. Racing fervor spread to the trucks, with such trucks as the GMC Cyclone and many more. So here are America's most popular cars in the 1990s. Coming in at number 10, the Ford Explorer and the Firestone Controversy. Welcome to the 90s, and welcome to a way to explore new horizons. Introducing the new four-door Explorer from Ford. Explore more total room for people and cargo. The Ford Explorer, along with the Jeep Grand Cherokee, is what kick-started the craze for modern SUVs beginning in the 1990s. And it did so by replacing the, by now, unwanted Ford Bronco 2 with the Explorer. Although a lot of the underpinnings were the same. As a result of the Explorer's success, Ford redesigned it in 1995, offering two separate models for two-door and four-door SUVs. The success of the Ford Explorer came with a price when, by the late 1990s, bad publicity was brought about by the Explorer's propensity to roll over, later to be blamed on Firestone tires. Coming in at number 9 for America's most popular cars in the 1990s is the Jeep Cherokee XJ. So common, they were unnoticed. Bronco 2 never made it. S10 Blazer never made it. Only Jeep Cherokee is the triple award-winning 4x4. The Jeep Cherokee XJ was so common in the 1990s and for much of the early 2000s that they became associated with the halcyon days in American history. The Jeep Cherokee XJ was unlike the futuristic SUV of today in being simple and boxy and in-your-face as it could be, but it was reliable and cheaper than many of the other cars. It was like a first car or a first SUV, the kind everyone could afford and have fun in. Sold in droves, the Cherokee XJ was no dream car, but it definitely was an attainable one. Coming in at number 8, the Dodge Caravan, the best minivans around. Of all the happy trips you'll take in a caravan, perhaps the best will be the trip home from the Dodge National Minivan Sale, where you can get up to $2,600 in total savings depending on which caravan you choose, including air at no extra charge with the family value package. In 1984, Dodge and Plymouth released their magic wagons onto the awaiting public. And the caravan and Voyager, along with the Chrysler Town and Country, basically killed the station wagon. Nothing says the 90s than a minivan from the house of Chrysler. Coming in at number 7 for America's most popular cars in the 1990s is the Ford Mustang. This is the new Ford Mustang GT. With its unmistakably new body surrounding an equally dramatic 5-liter port fuel-injected engine, it's easy to pick out the Mustang GT from a crop. The beginning of the 1990s saw the continuation of the Fox Body Mustang, which was well-loved for its fastback design and decent performance with a 5.0-liter V8. After 15 years of service, it was finally retired to make way for the new Mustang and, notably, the Mustang GT, the latter of which was so popular it created a furor with the competition. Coming in at number 6, the Chevrolet Impala SS. Still a popular choice. By the 1990s, the Impala wasn't what it once was. 
The big and boxy dimensions of the car were gone, and in place was a sleek powerhouse that looked more like a Caprice than its own classic self. But it came with a 5.7 liter V8 that made 260 horses and a very impressive 330 foot-pounds of torque. The Impala SS entered its seventh generation from 1994 to 1996 and still retained the drool factor with youngsters mostly because it carried a stellar legacy. Coming in at number five for America's most popular cars in the 1990s is the Ford F-Series, the birth of the SVT. Over the years, Ford gained a lot of expertise in building tough, durable, dependable trucks. Today's Ford full-size pickups are more stylish, more comfortable, more powerful, but they're still tough. The Ford F-Series has seen some good and bad days, but mostly it has seen some stellar days. In 1995, it surpassed the most car sold record held by the Volkswagen Beetle and became the new most sold car of the world. And let's not forget the Ford F-150 SVT Lightning that shook the world in 1993. This made muscle car owners sit up and realize what a muscle truck could do. Hey, by the way, we want to thank our subscribers and viewers of our videos. You know, if you like these videos and you're not a subscriber, do us a favor and just uh, hit that subscribe button. You know, it's it's absolutely free. Um, and, um, you know, hit the like button and hit that bell for future notifications of any future videos that we have. We we roll these out every Saturday by between 11 and 12 noon on Saturdays. So um, do us a favor, help us out and hit that subscribe button. Coming in at number four for America's most popular cars in the 1990s is the Mazda MX-5 Miata. Pure driving experience. A midsummer day's dream. Mazda Miata. Automobile of the year. Automobile magazine. One of the world's five best cars. Road and track. Car of the year. Modern motor. The dream is not. The Miata was the coolest thing to have come out of the 1990s. It wasn't the most powerful or luxurious roadster around, but it came cheap had enough power for thrills, and was one of the sunniest cars to drive. Enough to put a smile on even the most grumpiest drivers. It was also one unique design for a sports car and came with Japanese excellence, although it no longer carried a rotary engine. It was the simplest form of a sports car, one that enticed you to leave the home and go for long, fun, and fast drives. Coming in at number three, the Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Back to pure muscle. It has a theft deterrent system to help protect you from bad guys. A bumper to bumper warranty to protect you for three years or 36,000 miles. The last most powerful Camaro came in 1971. This was post oil embargo and subsequent emission controls killed its sold and turned it into a caricature of itself. However, in 1993, the Camaro Z28 arrived with 275 horses and 325 foot-pound of torque on a manual transmission as well as an automatic. The look was now muscly and menacing and the aerodynamics made people flip over this cool car. In the 1990s, the Camaro untarnished its name and sold thousands of units. Suddenly, the Camaro became a top-notch muscle car rather than the cumbersome classic it had come to be. Coming in at number two, the Honda Accord. Three generations in one decade. The 1992 Honda Accord, the number one selling car in America. Even though it's spacious and comes with an impressive list of standard features, including a driver's side airbag, there's... The 1990s Accord spanned its fourth, fifth, and even sixth generation in these ten years, proving Japanese determination when it came to sales. Reigning from 1976, the Accord was perhaps the only sedan that kept selling in the 1990s, leaving its competitors far behind. The fourth generation Honda Accord replaced the pop-up headlights with fixed ones and now bore a rather airy design, making it one of America's best-selling cars between 1990 and 1992. The fifth generation debuted the 2.2 liter VTEC engine and also added a V6. I mean, what's not to like? 
Coming in at number one for America's most popular cars in the 1990s is the Ford Bronco, the last of the stallions. Compared to Explorer buyers, Bronco buyers are generally older males who need a durable, contemporary utility vehicle to support their macho self-image. They want the full-size towing and cargo-carrying capabilities like F-Series. Without sacrificing to compete with Jeep CJ and the International Harvester Scout, Ford launched the Bronco in 1965. Bronco, which is a name for a wild bucking stallion, though this one was more SUV than muscle. In the 1990s, though, nothing was more popular than the white Ford Bronco, the infamy brought by that of O.J. Simpson. Well, that about wraps up the story on America's most popular cars in the 1990s. Hey, if you like this video, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell for future notifications. Thanks for watching.